Hello, Internet. Praise be to God, and welcome back to Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Beldum, tell me, what good are you? You still haven't taken care of that Mario character? Well, yes, sorry, but only because he's tougher than we felt at first. You do understand that we x nots must open the door first, do you not? <laughs> well, rest assured that I will definitely nail him next time. We have prepared a weapon that will bring him to a quick and certain end. I trust your words, though I rapidly lose my patience. Just leave it to us, sire! <laughs> That's away, my lovelies! Marilyn! Vivian! Oh, God. Oh boy, we're gonna see them again. Hmm, no doubt about it. I'm officially bored. Those awful X-Fiends haven't been back to ask me about the map. I wonder, is it safe? Oh my, that must be TEC again. Time for more tech adventures. Adventures with the tech. Hello, Princess Peach. You always call me in without warning, TEC. What is it this time? I apologize. I would like you to go where to where Sir Grotus is and ask him something. What? What do you mean, go ask? I recently obtained specific information that brought an issue to my attention. You are the main computer here, right? Why is there anything you don't know? I am unable to know things that are not entered in my CPU or otherwise recorded. That is why I want to know what Sir Grotus is thinking about this issue. But even if I try to go see him, they'll catch me and send me back to the room. That is true, but you will find a soldier's room one floor up. Take the elevator. Once there, please obtain a soldier's uniform and change into it, avoiding detection. You will go see Sir Grotus looking like a soldier. You mean I'll be disguised? I imagine you won't take no for an answer, will you? You imagine correctly? Alright, fine, I guess. Well, so what do you want me to go ask this Grotus? I will tell you. What in the world is TEC thinking? I mean, honestly, he sure is a weird computer. Yes, we actually get to sneak around as a Peach now. Oh! Is that the elevator who wanted me to go in? Yep, that's the one, Peach. That's two floors up, not one floor. Please wait just a moment, there are currently soldiers in the vicinity. Huh? Now, Princess Peach. It's the room with the green lamp very near where you disembark the elevator. That would be this one. Please change here, quickly. The soldier's uniform should be in a locker. Oh, there it is. Hmm? Oh, is this the uniform? Am I supposed to wear this ugly thing? Yes, that is correct. Uh, oof! I don't know about this. It's awfully tight, and it kind of smells a bit. Phew! Who knows how, but I got into it. I can barely breathe, though. Ooh, that's a good one. I bet I look perfect. How did she get that much shorter? Also, now we make awesome footstep sounds. That's awesome. Oh, hey, you're a different colored x not How are you? Hey, slacker! What part of do not leave your post do you not understand? Huh? Hmm? What? Come again? Oh, are you on your break? Well, fine. Carry on! What? What? What is it? If you have nothing to say, then don't speak to me. I'm busy. 
See, I've even got a busy x not clipboard here, and it says, do not disturb. Okay, fine. It won't open. Drat, I must be in the wrong place. Huh? <laughs> Do you smell that, dude? What a weird smell. <laughs> you smell nice. That is just wrong, dude. <laughs> is it a crime to smell nice? It won't open. Uh, it won't open. Drat. It's, it's a button. It's not supposed to open. Oh, same guy. Okay. All right, well, I thought there were more x knots that way. Nope, we gotta go to the far right. It's the life and times of x knot Joe. I am x knot Joe. I am a normal x knot. Nobody needs to ask any questions as to why I smell like a girl. Let me just sneak by him real quick. He'll never know. Will enter the door. Hi, Gronus! I'm Joe the X Knot. I'm a normal dude. No need to ask any questions. Oh, I have to go back here. Excuse me, uh, Sir Grotus. Yes. What is it? Speak. Uh, well, it's about Princess Peach. What do you plan to do with her going forward? Hmm. Something is wrong with your voice, X Knot. Perhaps I have a fruit lozenge? No. Well, never mind. Oh, about Princess Peach? I have no interest in what that woman has to say. Just keep her locked in the room. But don't ever, ever treat her roughly, you understand? Tell the others as well. But, uh, why... Why in the world are we keeping her here, then? That's none of your business. Don't forget your place, you impudent worm. Concentrate on getting the legendary treasure. That is all I require of you. We x knots need that treasure to conquer the world. Don't forget it. Conquer the world? Legendary treasure? What are you blabbering about now? Hmm... Something is odd about you. N n nothing odd. Uh, so, Roger, or whatever. But please excuse me. It's hard for me to do a Peach voice trying to do an x knot voice. Oh, that was unnerving. All that stuff about conquering the world? Talk about creepy. I wonder if that has anything to do with collecting those crystal stars. Well, let's change back to our normal height. Off with this fiend! Phew! Good old pink dress. My favorite. Why would I ever wear anything different? I'd better get back quickly. I don't know, Peach. You might invest in, like, a red dress, or, like, a blue dress, even. It could look very nice. TC, you terrible machine! So your goal is to conquer the world, is it? Of course. After all, I was built for that purpose. Conquering the world? How could you? Princess Peach, allow me to ask you something. Do you like the world you live in? There are many problems in the world. Many sorrows. Do you like such a world? Of course I do! Nobody likes everything about the world, but I love the good parts. There are many sorrows, sure, but there is also joy. Is that so? Tell me, will the crystal stars help you conquer the world? And what's this treasure? I am afraid I cannot answer. Answering those questions is prohibited by Sir Grotus. Well, but... Oh, never mind. I must at least inform Mario about this awful plan for world domination. TEC, let me use your communicator. I suppose I can allow that. Please use the communicator. Send it this instant. The message has been sent. Well then, Princess Peach, you have had a busy day. Go back to your room, please. Oh, okay. Good night, Princess Peach. Yes, I want to save my progress. It's time for the part everybody's looking forward to. Huh? <laughs> humongous! Everybody 
Everybody hide now! Save yourselves! Stupid cheating Mario! Who would have thought that fool would be in Glitzville? Did you say something, your rudeness? Uh, no, nothing at all, as far as you know. Hey, did you see those little butt sized shrimps? What were those fiends? Those were some punies. One of them should know about the Crystal Star. They fear you, so they're all hiding. Let's go find them and get the info we need. <laughs> we could play as Bowser the Puny Tree. Find them, my lord. Find the hidden punies and make them tell where the treasure is. Look, that grass clump over there looks suspicious, your wretchedness. Y yikes! This guy is big and bad. He's large and in charge. That's Puniper. Eek flee! Eek! You, you're scary, Mr. Giant Bad Breath Monster! D don't worry, Petuni. Your big brother is here. We'll, we'll get through this! Oh, I didn't realize that was them. I see you hiding back there. Can he go in the warp pipe? No. Eh. Be gone! You're one of them, aren't you? One of them evildoers. You want our crystal star. Ha! See? I knew it! This ugly thing knows where the crystal star is! Tell us! How rude! Ugly fiend, how dare you, you wretched crone! I am the great puny elder! Yeep! My heart! Don't startle me like that! I'm too old for this stuff! <laughs> You're both too old! <laughs> it's hag versus hag! Awesome! <laughs> Ahem, uh, yes, Lord Bowser, you look as if you are just dying to say something. Uh, nope, nothing! Let's move on, shall we? You, Elder Hag Fane, where's the Crystal Star? And don't try pulling rank again. Your answer, not your age, will determine your fate. Hmph, <laughs> Hag Fane. Honestly, in any case, you're too late. The Crystal Star is gone. <gasps> what? That's right, you rude fiend. We gave it to a mustachioed man named Martio. He said he was collecting this legendary's treasures to rescue some princess. What did he call her? Princess Pinch? Yep, he was off to save that lucky lass. It's Mario, not Martio, and it's not Princess Pinch, her name is Princess Peach. But your senility is beside the point. The princess and the treasures must be connected. Mario's trying to get it all! Treasures, princesses, does his greed never end? The jackal? Both Princess Peach and the Crystal Stars belong to me! To me! If I find him, I'm going to finish him off once and for all. I swear it! Don't forget, Bowser was in Glitzville. <laughs> Unfortunately, no Super Bowser Bros that time, but that's okay. That makes it more special when you do play it. So you now must leave. I understand. If you must, you must. We won't delay you. I hope you succeed in finding the rest of the Crystal Stars. Good luck. Gonzales, I want to tell you, Rock Hawk ain't gonna fight dirty anymore. I'm gonna hit the weights, take some vitamins, and win the title fair and square. And I'm never, ever gonna lose again. Remember, when life rocks you, rock back! Listen, G-Money, thanks for everything, man. You're the nicest dude I ever met, and if you ever need it, I got your back. Me, I think I'm gonna chill here and improve my skills. King K's back, baby! And it's all thanks to you, dog. You're my boy, Mario. Now that Grub is out of the picture, I'm going to take over running the Glitz Pit. If you ever decide to return to the ring, just come back. I'll keep your spot open. You have tons of fans, and they'd absolutely love it if you made a comeback. Anyway, think it over, okay? And travel safe. Yes! We have free Crystal Stars now! We're rolling! Let's head back to Rogueport, Mario. Alright, just making sure. Or go into the gear. Okay, good. I do have two hot dogs. You want two hot dogs when you leave Glitzville. I thought you just got teleported straight back to Rogueport at the end. I was wrong. The cheap whip is bound for the town of Rogueport.
Bye, Glitzville. You were amazing. We'll be back soon. Don't worry. <laughs> nice 360 or 180 there. Whee! Thanks for the ride, man. Mario, hear that noise? That's totally an email from Princess Peach. Dearest Mario, I've uncovered something terrible. These fiends, the x knots they're pointing to take control of the world. It's to that end that they're searching for the Crystal Stars. I still don't know what the Crystal Stars do, but you must try to get them all. I will gather what information I can, Princess Peach. What? They want to rule the world? That does not sound like a friendly plan. Yeah, no, no, duh. The Kumbella. <laughs> oh well, let's check the lottery results. I'll check my email after this. Alright. New email. Pinty Jr., Dad's job. Hey, you know what? My daddy found a new job. He takes care of Boo Boo in Toad Town. He's all recharged now. I'm still not good at studying, but I'm trying so I can help my daddy. I don't know what I can do to help daddy yet, but I'm going to study lots until I figure something out, okay? Well, I'll see ya. From Pinty. Aw, that's sweet. He didn't have to do that. Oh boy, Luigi's back, everybody. <laughs> well, I got my second piece of the marvelous compass at Plump Belly Village recently. Oh boy, I really got my hands dirty on that one, I'll tell you what. It was pretty wild, bro. Wanna hear what happened? It's a pretty long story. Yes. Hey, sounds good to me. <laughs> Plum Belly Village. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here goes. Once we made landfall on the Strudel Continent, we went for we made for Plump Belly Village. Once we got there, though, we immediately noticed that something was wrong. We learned that the mayor from the town was ruled by a giant snake named Hiza. He said his own daughter was going to be offered up as a sacrifice to this beast too. So, of, of course, being heroic, I offered myself up to go in here instead. Brave, huh? Now, the custom was for sacrifices to be dressed as brides, so I got all dolled up. I was one hot sacrifice, bro. I looked so good, I fooled our foes and got into Hiza's lair. It was kind of rough fighting in that ground, but I managed <laughs> chiffin' really chafes, bro. <laughs> I finally found Hiza, and his snake had its second head on its tail. Talk about scary. I fainted real quick, but when I came to, I managed to distract both heads. It reared up Fane's bear to attack, and at that moment, I definitely lunged left. His gaping mouth smashed into one another, and he vanished in a cloud of smoke. A shining plate fell down on the spot where Hiza's body had been coiled. Yes, another compass piece. I set it, and it pointed east to Circuit Break Island. Just as I was about to leave town, the mayor asked me to stay and marry his daughter. I thought about it, she was sorta cute, but we ended up sneaking off the next morning. I mean, I still had to save Princess Eclair from the Chestnut King. And, when the Marvelous Compass activated this time, I heard somebody's voice. It was so beautiful, bro, I'm certain it was Princess Eclair's voice. My heart began to race, that's when I realized it. Princess Eclair, I think I... Oh, I kinda zoned out there. Um. So yeah, we set sail again after ditching town, and somehow we managed to get back here to Rogueport, and here I am. That was a great story, Luigi. <laughs> if you want to hear what I've been up to, just come find me, okay? I'll be around. Hey, dude. Hi, I guess. I'm Jerry. I'm a Balam from Point Belly Village. Nice meeting you. Sorry, I sound so down, but you would be too if you saw Luigi dressed as a bride. I'm serious. It scarred me. It was honestly scarier than that giant snake thing. I feel I now have a moral duty to stop Luigi from ever dressing as a bride again. I have to protect the world from my fate. That's why I'm sticking close to this guy. Oh my gosh, it sounds horrible. That's Jerry, Luigi's bob buddy. He's a little different from most bob -ombs. He's really burning with a righteous fire, and I think he's been seen some horrible things. Speaking of which, I wonder if I'll ever be a bride. Hee hee hee. Aww. With your sass and knowledge, Goombella, I'm sure you will be. What up, dude? What you got for me? Pretty good stuff. I'll keep I'll keep an eye on that. Rookie, the great Gonzalez, takes Glitz Pit by storm. An upset on the way? Graffiti corner. 
Rockhawk may be strong, but he's no Prince Mush, is he? No, he's not. A fighting fan. Ooh. This is my brother's shop. Someday I'd like to have my own shop. That'd be nice. Nothing there? Okay. Let's check out the bad shop. We've got almost 200 coins. We can spend a lot. Let's see. Some good options. We got Super Appeal, Pretty Lucky P, FP Drain, Close Call P. Let's get Super Appeal. Alright, I. F Not recipes, badges. Close Call P, I guess. And yeah, we'll get FP Drain. That cleans us almost entirely out of our money. But that's okay. We gotta get those badges eventually. Ooh, please tell me I have free shine sprites. Two! Darn it, I can't upgrade Sid. I was afraid of that. Still, it is a good thing I upgraded Flory because I needed a whip block in the pit. Six star pieces, okay. Hey, Dazzle. Uh, let's get Flower Finder. Down, down we go. Gotta go to the uh, thousand year door, put in the next crystal star. And now that we've got the super hammer, we can create us a nice little shortcut. Gold star, get. Only four left. That looks like a friendly place. Ooh, love that color. The location of a crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. There's the fourth crystal star! We're gonna have to show Professor Frankly again. It's okay, we have to let him know what Princess Peach wrote in her email anyway. Oh yeah. What? The group that kidnapped Princess Peach is bent on total world conquest? It sure sounds like it. That must be why we they need the legendary treasure, huh? Hmm, this doesn't bode well. The situation has gotten far more serious than I thought. Let me bring you up to speed. I've been researching just what this treasure could be. One book I came across held what I thought was a preposterous theory. This book claimed that the treasure was in actuality the Great Cataclysm. The very cataclysm that a thousand years ago sank that town underground. Wait a sec, so they want to use that cataclysm's power to take over the world? I can't say for sure that's what they will do or why, but we must consider the possibility. Now that things have come to this, we mustn't let them get near the legendary treasure. That's all that matters, because if they do get it, then once again this town... No, the entire world could be destroyed! 
Oh my gosh, Professor! Then we gotta get the next crystal star right away! Hmm, according to the map, it appears the next crystal star is in Twilight Town. Twilight Town? You mean that place from Kingdom Hearts? No. To tell you the truth, I don't know much about the place, myself. Only rumors. I have heard that, as the name implies, it's perpetually dim and eerie there. Wait just a moment. Aha! There appears to be a pipe to Twilight Town somewhere here in Rogueport. I do believe it's somewhere underneath the west part of town. Yes, definitely. If you get stuck for any reason, just come back and see me again, okay? Beneath the west part of town. Gotcha! We're on it! Thanks, Professor! Woo! Alright, Mario! Let's do it! Well, we'll do it eventually. First, of course, we have to go back to the Trouble Center. Alright, Jolene, Murley, but let's do Bubulber. I have a bad craving for a certain food item. Could you fetch it for me? Please meet me in Petalburg. I'll take on Bubulber's trouble. It's probably more trouble than it's worth. <laughs> yeah. That was terrible. Oh, another email. Mario's popular. Koopy Koo, miss you. Dear Mario and Koops, I hope you two are do doing okay. I have to admit, with Koops gone, I haven't been doing very well. I get lonely, and I go into Koops' house, and I smell that Koops smell. I guess it's your cologne or whatever, but it makes me so sad. I've gotten used to your smell, Koops. Oh, and the thing is, your dad, Koopy, has his own smell, and it's weird. I think maybe it's the smell of Hooktail's gut. That's disgusting. Now I grossed myself out. Oh, and since he's going to be my dad too someday, I'd better get used to the smell, huh? Oh, what am I writing? I'm so embarrassed, but I'm sending this anyway. <laughs> Love, Koopy Koo. Okay, uh, Koopy Koo. I'm going to pretend I didn't read that. Koops is like, are you reading mail from my girlfriend about me? Why did she send it to you? That is pretty weird, to be honest. <laughs> Alright. So Bubble Burr is in Petalburg. Now that we have the Super Hammer, we can go over here. <gasps> yes! It's a Shine Sprite! Oh, yes! We can't upgrade Sid. So we can hit that and open up this warp pipe. We go down the warp pipe, and I wonder where it could lead us. It's Petalburg! Speaking of Koopy Koo, hey, how are ya? Don't really care, gotta do my own thing. So Bubbleburg is in kind of a hidden part of Petalburg. Let's cross this bridge down here. There he is. Hello and good day to you, I am Bubbleburg. You came here after hearing of my request, correct? Oh, I am so happy. I would like to ask you to bring me a hot dog. Yes, a hot dog is what I desire. It is said to be spicy, but I've never experienced spiciness in all my life. Some say they are sold in Glitzville. Please get me one, if you can. Oh, did you bring me something? Here's your hot dog. Oh, so this is a hot dog. I'm going to go right ahead and try it. Munch, smack, go with that roof. Oh, oh, hot! Hot, hot! So this is spicy. Well, this spiciness is quite interesting. Makes me crave more of it. I'm terribly sorry, but could you go get me one more hot dog, please? I must have one. I would appreciate it. Yeah, if you don't know he wants two hot dogs from the get-go, you have to backtrack and go to Glitzville two different times. Very, very annoying. Oh, I'm so happy to be able to eat another hot dog. I've dreamed of this. I shall devour it immediately. Munch, slurp, gulp, erp. Oh, oh, hot, hot, hot. Spicy, spicy hotness. Now this, this is spicy. Spicy! Oh my, that was positively delicious. Good gracious, I'm sweating with pleasure. I'm rather surprised that it was spicy rather than just spicy. By the way, and I know this is rather rude, but I'd love to chase that with a sweet. Sweets are the spice of life. That's my new theory I've just now coined. Could you maybe cook some cake mix, please? I really want a piece of moose cake. Oh yeah, this guy's annoying. I have a moose cake, here you go. Oh, moose cake! I can't wait to eat, so I won't! Much fat Ooh, sweet! Good gracious, I am quite satisfied now, but I feel like I've been demanding. Yeah, no duh. Maybe I just wanted to be spoiled by others. Maybe I was so selfish because... 
Well, because it's such a peaceful place. I crave peace, love, and food. I'm sure that's it. Anyway, let me show my gratitude. We got a dried bouquet. Beautiful flowers made by Bubulber. Replenishes 1 HP. I've been growing these dried bouquets lately. If you want more, just bring me another hot dog. You'll always be welcome here. Thank you so much. So I know what you're thinking. Dried bouquet, that sucks. It does suck, but you need it for one recipe in the game, so you need one. Plus, that's one of the side quests we have to complete. And now... There's another pipe. But where could it ever lead to? Unfortunately, it's not Glitzville. You never get a pipe to Glitzville, which makes sense since it's in the air. This leads to the Great Tree. So if you ever want Mystic Eggs quickly, take that pipe. And over here, we got a giant steel version of these, which we can't break even with the Super Hammer, so... Tough luck. But that's okay. I just realized there are like no enemies down here. Which is kind of nice because fighting Goombas at this point is completely not worth it. here, and Merlin is going to upgrade Sid, because Sid is a great partner to upgrade. Shall I upgrade this partner? Yes. Shazibi! Shazubi! Yeah! Then you may go. Now he has 20 HP. That's the main problem. When he's only a level 1, he only has 10 HP. Not very good. And that's all the time we have for this episode of Paper Mario Files in Your Door. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Colorful Arnie. Tune in next time. Well, there's probably a lot we're going to do. We are going to do the other two trouble requests. And we'll probably play some of the Pianta Parlor. And who knows what else we may end up doing. Hope to see you then. Have a great day, and God bless.